Misunderstandings were as a result of the school board not pleased with the changes and alterations made on the original building plan of the school. As the two parties could not agree, the school board then requested the governor to intervene. I have to intervene. First, I have a meeting with the regional, with the regional, uh, regional councils of whereby we were informed, briefed on what transpired, you know, by the two stakeholders, the school board and the directorate of education. So we resolved the matter, and as, as I'm talking right now, the school will be constructed uh, based on the, on the understanding that only sound building will be, will be still there, except those who are not in a very good conditions, they will be falling. After the intervention of the governor, the parties came to an agreement. A site meeting, you know, um, the directorate of education and the school, we, we recommended, you know, the building that must, must remain and not be demolished. We have agreed to say the project plan will go on. There will be the new Antimba Toivo Ya Toivo. From the classrooms, from the, up to the hostel, the new school will exist. It's only to say the old buildings that are there, will, we have identified which buildings can we retain, which buildings, or yes, which buildings can we retain, and which one can be demolished. The construction includes new classrooms and the renovations of the old two hostel blocks and additional flats for volunteer teachers and other needs.